sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com. So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rakes One here. Happy Monday. In today's video, I got you guys probably my biggest video I've ever done on my channel. Well, honestly, I've done big videos before, but in terms of spending wise, I think I never spent this much on a video ever in my entire life. $40,000 on this box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Today I'm gonna to be cracking this open. Even my editor Val thinks I'm crazy. I think you need a new therapist. But guys, you know what? Anything for the love of the game. And today is the last and final day for you to get any of your PX1 playmats on my website. So if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, today is literally the last day you guys can get anything. The War Titan playmat, Dino Ruler playmat, all the exclusive limited drops is gonna be available for today only. And the entire website is on sale right now as well, including free shipping to the USA. So literally tomorrow, June 1st, you guys will not see a single playmat on my website. So get your crazy limited edition play mats while you guys still can. Also at the same time, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for riding with me all these years, man. Who remembers when I first started selling my TX1 merchandise on Facebook? We made a lot of good memories with these play mats. I love seeing you guys at YCSs and regionals and you guys coming up to take pictures of the play mats or asking me to sign the play mats that you guys purchased from TX1.com. We made so much memories uh, with these awesome merchandise. And again, I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support, for anybody that bought anything from my shop. So thank you so much for everything. Literally, man, like thank you. I'm here humbly to say thank you to you guys. You guys literally made a dream come true for me to be able to even sell my own merchandise. It's insane, guys. Thank you so much. And that's pretty much it. I won't waste any more time. Let's start with the biggest video on my channel. Opening up a $40,000 box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I just bought. All right, guys, here we go. So basically what's in this box is an accumulation of all the stuff that I bought over the past year. And according to my math, I think this box has $42,000, $375 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. It's been a year, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy, guys. Oh my God. You guys see, yeah, it, it literally is. See, look, it's li literally a bunch of packages which I haven't even opened. Okay, this is from Japan. Easy open strip. That sounds super nice. Holy macaroni. Uh, okay, so there we go. Cards, nice, Yu Gi Oh cards. This is package number one. What, what did I get in here? Thank you so much for purchasing this item. I'll be very glad if you're satisfied with the item. Enjoy yourself with the item and have a nice time with it. All right, here you go. Mega Joy Japan. What is this? Oh my God, oh my God, it's been a year. Guys, GBI God set, mint condition, super mint. Wow, I can't believe I bought these. Guys, GBI, secret rares, God set. This set right here ranges around 1,500 to 2,000, but you know, well, no, that's maybe a reach. It's probably a thousand to like 1800, depending on the condition. But this is like a super minty set right here. Absolutely insane. We got, of course, Slide for the Sky Dragon. And I actually didn't even own one of these before ever. This is like my first ever set of God cards right here, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we got Slifer, which is right here. So you guys better get your wartime play now. I don't know what you guys are doing. We got, we got Wind Dragon Raw right here. Absolutely amazing. And we got the main man himself, Obelisk, the Tormentor right here. Uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. Okay guys, give or take $1,500 USD for this entire set. This is like a near mint set, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm, I'm really happy that I have these in my hands and I get to hold them over a year now. So there you go, that's the first cards I bought. That's $1,500. What is this? Oh, wow, absolutely beautiful. Elemental Hero Tempest, wow. Mint condition Elemental Tempest. Absolutely insane. This is from uh, EEN and of course Elemental Aquanils. Um, this is not mint, this is actually I think very light play or, or, or moderately play. I totally forgot, but like the front looks absolutely incredible. Wow. 
This is like $700, 700 bucks. Only a little bit of whitening on top. So we're gonna add $700 to our tab right here. Really iconic, guys. I have this in PSA 10, but I always wanted like a raw version of Elemental Material Tempest. This card is absolutely beautiful, man. Super gorgeous. Shout out, shout out to Esteban Aquinios right here. This is like, I believe like 200 bucks or $150. This is like a mint condition, so maybe it's like 200 bucks. Like 200 bucks maybe, or like 150. Guys, I'm sorry if I like, you know, the, the, the value might not be exact correct, but it's around like 150 too. Like it's around 150 dollars, 200 bucks, which is insane. So there you go, Aqua Neals. Next, oh wow, here we go. Ugh, let me open this. Oh, another package. I love how packages are packed like this. It's so fun. Let me open this, scissors. Oh my god. Oh, finally! Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Wow. Alright, guys. This is a mint condition element here, Wild Edge. Well, I think it's very light play because it's a little bit like whitening on top. This, regardless, nonetheless, this card is absolutely beautiful. I don't even have one copy of Wild Edge, so this is my first one that's gonna be going to my hero collection. This is worth around 500 bucks. Add that to the tab. Pretty insane, guys. And honestly, you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy for spending money on cards, but think about it, guys. These are investments, man. Like these, four or five years ago, they're only like $100 or even $25 a piece. Now that these cards are so sought after, you're never gonna be able to see these cards ever again. Like for real, after five years, these cards will probably go extinct, to be honest. These cards are insane. And Elementary Heroes are really, really iconic, man. You guys don't even know. And of course, Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. This is the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Monster, aside from Flame Wingman. This card is absolutely gorgeous, man. It's like a mint copy, mint version of Shining Flare. Give or take, maybe this is like very light play because it's a little bit of a whitening on top, but it shouldn't be too bad because like all these cards have whitening from like EEN. All these like GX sets have a lot of whitening in here. But this card right here, give or take $1,000. You know, add that to the tab, $1,000. Really good to have this bad boy in my hands. Next right here, we got the iconic. King's Court is also coming out as well, guys. So this is gonna be absolutely insane. This is the mint versions, mint copy of the Queen, Kings, and, and Jack's Knight set. This is like a mint play set right here. The whole set is worth around 500 USD. If we get like a very minty, for, uh, minty, minty one, like this is like a really good start to your, to your ultimate rare collection. Like this is like really minty Queen's Knight. Like look at the beautifulness on this card. Nothing wrong with this card at all. Absolutely gorgeous. Like straight up gorgeous. Shout out to Esteban, man. This is absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Queen's Knight ultimate rare. We got King's Knight and of course Obviously, well, Queen's Knight is like the like the the best looking one in my opinion, but Jack's Knight is also pretty good. I remember I used to play this card in like Brilliant Fusion Monarchs or something like that. That was pretty cool. But Jack's Knight, absolutely beautiful. These cards are beauties, like absolute stunning. Mint condition. What's in here? This is from I don't know. Read me. All right, I'm gonna read you. Read me. Oh man! Wow! This guy knows who I am. Wow, I just bought this guy, like, how do you know it's me? Hi Sam, thank you for your purchase. I'm a huge fan, love your work. I have a collection Insta page called Ancient Sanctuary, and it would mean the world to me if you could give me a follow. Lots of love, Dom. I'll give you a follow, Dom. I can't believe, like, I bought this off eBay. Who, who the heck knows my name on eBay? I swear I thought I was discreet enough. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. The Lost Millennium Gold Stamp First Edition Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Okay, this is like very light play, but like it's still like, still a beautiful card nonetheless. Give or take, since it, oh, and it's also like there's a, there's a, a ulti shift kind of thing there. Or maybe that's regular for all the ultimate version, the Lost Millennium, but this is like truly iconic. Like this next to Shining Flare, like GG No Real, like this is like the dynamic duo. You, you need to have this. 500 USD, give or take, maybe even more, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I guess like 500 USD added to the tab. This card is just 
absolutely spectacular, man. Shouts to Dom, man. This is absolutely beautiful. This one right here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles. Okay, so I've got, this is a, wow. So I bought a Thunder Giant. I bought a Thunder Giant from these guys, CCS, Complete Card Shack. And, let's see, give me a second. Yeah, this is like a light, wow, no man, no way. Honestly, bro, like TCG player needs to work on, on, on their description game, man, because this is not light play. This is moderately played. You guys see this? Like TCG player will be like, yeah, this is mint. Like this is, I paid, this is not, this is not, this is not worth $370. I bought this for $370. Like this is not worth that. This is a moderately play card. You got, you, look at that, this is MP, right? Just tell me, tell me this is not light play. I know what light play looks like. TG players are, TG player are crazy. The description is ridiculous. A little bit disappointed on this. Ooh, this is beautiful. Wow, this is, yeah, I got this. This is very light play. Wow, I, well I have two now. But they listed this as very light play and this is like a thousand dollars. I didn't buy it for a thousand because it's been a year. Okay, may, yeah, may, yeah. I, maybe this is light play, but it listed as very light play. Nonetheless, like the front looks absolutely stunning. Like the hollow. This this is like this is a European one, right? You you tell me this is a European one. It, is, it doesn't look like this. I swear, there's like a difference between these two. Maybe this is European. I don't know, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm 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 happy with this one. A thousand dollars added to the tab right there. Man, this is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Honestly, guys, I love collecting heroes, man. It's like one of my favorite things to collect. So this is another package. What is this? Hi Sam, thanks for ordering the Hollow Pikachu for me. Oh, oh, this is this has nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. But this is the do the the dollar. Uh, this is from the McDonald's. Okay, this is like, like this wrong, wrong channel, wrong channel, wrong channel, but it is $100 though. So add that to the tab. Why do you org? Wow. Shouts to Dan. Dan, if you're watching this video, this is from you right here. Oh man, I've been looking for this all my life, to be honest. I finally have one. So this right here is a first edition Gladiator's Assault Necroface. Oh, there is a dimple on there. Oh, there is a dimple on there. <laughs> oh. There's a dimple hole. <laughs> that wasn't in the picture, man. And this is man, it'll be, it will be it, it will be worth like a, this is like a perfect card except for that dimple. This is like a literally perfect card. Wow, this is like a thousand dollars. Well, nine hundred now because of that dimple. But this is like a mint card. A mint card. Eight hundred dollars added to the tab, man. I'm a little bit upset that it has a dimple on there, but. This looks absolutely insane. The artwork just looks so, so, so crazy. It's, it's, this is ridiculous, man. There you go. Next one, Dark Paladin from MSC First Edition. This is a mint. Oh, okay, this is like a VLP. Man, these look mint in the pictures, man. But not bad, not bad. It's like 400 bucks. Very iconic. Now, now I have to get the misprint one, you know what I mean? But this is crazy, $400. Really gonna have this in the, in, in the collection. And now we got Flare Needles. This is a, wow, this is not mint at all. Just scratched on this card. Like around 200 bucks, give or take 200 bucks. If this was mint, it would've been worth a little bit more, but this is like 200 bucks now. Wow, the pictures look beautiful online, but like in real life, I'm like, damn, I got gypped. Tokyo, Japan, wow. I, th I, I, I think I know what this is, probably the red eyes. But it's beautiful, though. their packaging is very cute. Very nice. Here we go. Probably red eyes. I'm, I think it's, it's red eyes. It's red eyes from Rush Duels. Yes, it is, yes, I got my set now. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, wow. Rush Duels, 
red eyes, loud dragon. Guys, this looks absolutely beautiful, man. Beautiful. I have blue eyes, dark magician, and also red eyes. These cards are gonna go up 100,000% later in the future. Like, they literally made this for another game. Blue eyes, red eyes, dark magician. There's no way that you guys should not have this in your collection. This is insane. Don't know how much this is, so I'll just put that on the side. Can't read Japanese, but this card looks really cool. The red eyes sleeve too. So there we have it. All right. Uh, next one. What is this? What is this? Oh, blow needles. There you go. This is a mint condition. Near mint blow needles. Uh, this right here, you can add $300 right to the tab. There you go, mint condition glow needles. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Guys, remember, I'm collecting all, like a, this is a mint condition card, look at that. Flawless, flawless. Got this for around like 300 bucks. This is absolutely gorgeous. Tournament pack six, thank you. I hope you don't mind, I gave a tournament pack five. Whoa, I hope you don't mind, I gave you a tournament. What? Wait. I ordered a tournament pack six. Why would it give me a tournament pack five? I hope you don't mind. I gave. Why would he do that? Wait, what? Oh, awesome! Thank you. Okay, beautiful. Don't know how much these packs are worth. I don't know. Give or take like fifty bucks, a hundred bucks for both. I, I don't know. These packs I bought and I, I forgot. But guys, I have. I'm gonna be opening up every single pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards very soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. This is from Gage. Wow, Gage, Gage, Nim Nim. So, Elemental Hero Nolps, Nolps, no, no. Stop it. Get some help. 150 bucks around there from Premium Pack Number Two. Really iconic card for your hero collection. Injection Fairy Lily. Around 150 dollars. Absolutely insane. This is like a, I don't even have one copy of her. A Chasta Gage, this card looks beautiful. It's it's really OC, really off-center. But this is also like around like 150 bucks. Really good iconic card from Light of Destruction. I mean, Legacy of Dark, Leg, Labyrinth of Legacy of Darkness. I can't believe I said Light of Destruction. I'm such a dude. But she's, she's bait, she's obviously bait. And of course, the old blood right here. Omar knows how iconic this card is, man. Omar knows. Omar knows, man. Strictly sealed. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, bro, you know I had to get this one. A hundred bucks. A hundred dollars added to the tab, man. Super minty. Super minty. But there you go. Next one. So I got a clay man right here. Elemental material clay man from uh, E Hero Collection number two. This, these cards are super, super iconic. For sure, you must have these cards in your hero collection, hands down. If you don't, you'll be in trouble. But well, this is absolutely beautiful. Wow, super minty, 150 bucks. That's what the card is worth right now, uh, which is insane. So there you go, add $150 to the tab. This one is from Japan. Okay, what is this? Turbo pack four, 10 packs of turbo pack number four. Absolutely insane. Don't know how much these are worth. Like 100 bucks for all 10 packs, I don't know, $10 a pack. All right guys, next thing, as my editor, what do you think about me, pal? Honest. What do you think about me, Val, huh? You're the asshole on TV. Okay, here we go. We got tournament pack number three and tournament pack number four. Maybe a hundred bucks for both too. I don't know. But we got, of course, three, four, five, six. Wow, here we go. The almighty PSA nine. First edition. Elemental Hero Air Needles. Oh, it's a little bit OC, man. If this was an OC, it would have been PSA 10. Hands down, look at the back. That's why it's a PSA 9. Gorgeous! Gorgeous! Shouts to Dakota Hubbard for sending me this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be part of my collection forever, man. PSA 9 Air Needles. Honestly, PSA 10 is just out of reach for me. I couldn't afford it at that time. I bought this last year. But damn, the fact that this came to me is Absolutely beautiful. Look how beautiful this card is. I love the hero stuff, guys. This is like 2,000 USD give and take. Oh, this is cra oh, this is crazy. This is a crazy one. I bought these off eBay. Okay. Wow. There you go, guys. 
Tournament pack number one. This is expensive. This cost me about a hundred dollars USD. No, 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 sorry. This cost me, this cost me around $250 USD. Oh my God, why is the pack packaged like that? It feels like there's no no cards in the pack for some reason. Oh, there's there are cards. Wow, look at this, guys. Tournament pack season one. Wow. Insane. Never see, even seen this in my entire life. TP1, man. TP1. Insane. Insane. This right here is from Jesse Jobber. If you guys don't know Jobber, Jobber is insane. I love Jobber. He's the best. He's the GOAT. He packaged this like, like crazy. What card is this? Jesse Jobber, GRB Jobber. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, subscribe to Jobber. The OG, OG YouTuber. I looked up the, I always look up the Jobber, man. He's the GOAT. Gift, oh, he gave me a gift. Joe, thanks, Jesse. So, what's in here? Man, I'm, oh, I'm, I can't wait for this. Gift. Oh my God. This is a gift. Oh! I don't even have one. How much is this worth? That is gorgeous, Jesse. Thank you so much, man. Wow. I don't know. Maybe a hundred bucks. Just say a hundred dollars. I, I, I don't know. This is like a mint one. Add a hundred dollars to our tab. I don't know how much this is. But this is a gift from Jobber. This is a mint. Sexy smexy. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous, $100. Wow. Beautiful, I don't. I, I never even owned one. All right, and these are next, I know what these are. These are the holy grails of Yu-Gi-Oh, once again. Guys, this right here is GBI God Set number two that I bought. All right guys, God Set number two, of course we got Wing Dragon Raw right here, Slide for the Sky Dragon, and of course, Obelisk the Tormentor right here. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. A huge shout out, a huge shout out to Jobber right here, man. Thank you so much, Jesse, for watching the video. Thank you for the gift of Yara Garasu right here. I love this card, super duper crazy. This is a really clean, clean set of the GBI Gods. So this is my, my second set. Uh, which is absolutely insane. This one is, this same thing, 1500 USD added to the tab. This is how much these are worth now. Guys, remember man, collecting is a, is a fun thing. And the crazy thing about collecting is that over the years, these cards will accumulate value. So imagine they're $1,500 now, imagine what it's like 10 years later. These cards will be like extinct. These cards will be super expensive and super to come across. So guys, if you guys wanna collect, I know it's a little bit too late to connect, but it's better late than never. You know what I mean? Like I, I should have bought these, five years ago, but hey, who knows, right? Like these cards are, are insane. They will always go in value. These are the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monsters ever. And look at this, man. Like guys, War Titan, who's gonna win? All right, guys, last day to get your War Titan play, man, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. A bunch of singles that I bought over, over the past week, actually. So this is gonna be insane. So, wow. You guys are actually gonna love this. This is gonna be insane, okay, guys? All right, here we go. Time, time to go ham on this. First, we got a mint condition, Trishula, Dragging the Ice Bear, Jewel Terminal. $350 added to the tab. Iconic DT card right here. Wow, absolutely insane. Next, we got Neospatian Grandmo. And of course, Neospatian Flare Scarab. If you're collecting heroes, you have to collect the Neospatians. These are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. Um, give or take, like maybe 150 bucks for both since these are mint, you know what I mean? Like 75, 75. I'm pretty sure Grand, Grand Mole is worth more, but Flare Scarab is also very, very nice as well. So these are like, maybe give or take like 150 bucks for a set. Maybe more, maybe less, who knows? Okay, next, okay. Oh, we already spoiled that. We got Grand Neals. This is a mint copy of Grand Neals. Okay, super duper mint. Wow, this is like a beautiful Grand Neals. This is like $300 right here, added to our tab. 
Guys, remember, the collection is getting bigger and bigger, man. These cards are worth so much money. My hero collection is almost complete, but this is like a perfect condition. Clean. Grand Neils. 300 bucks right here. Beautiful. Next, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon right here. You guys are gonna be crazy on the amount of blue eyes that I got in this video. These cards right here are from the Sunder Deck Kaiba Reloaded, okay? And these are the ultimate print for Blue Eyes White Dragon. There's no other way you can get ultimate rare blue eyes anymore. Like, well, these are the only ways to get it in the Kaiba starter decks. But the, the Kaiba starter decks are almost extinct. You can barely get them. And I bought these for like $25 each. You know what I mean? Like $25 over the years and like first edition. Uh, next, we got Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Again, it's like a light play one. Still nonetheless, very beautiful. Shout out to Esteban for this. More Flame Wingman is the better. You know, I love Flame Wingman. So seeing this is very, very cool. And it's like around $500, which is absolutely beautiful. So $500 added to our tab for that. Next, we got Miracle Fusion. This card right here. I actually needed this card for my deck, so I'm probably not gonna be putting this in my collection. I'm probably gonna go straight into my hero deck, but this card is absolutely beautiful. A little bit LP, but it's still worth like around like 100 bucks, which is not that bad, right? So 100 bucks for the Miracle Fusion. Next one, this is crazy. You guys are gonna think I'm a little bit insane for this. But look at this. So over the years, I've been buying literally all these blue eyes because I just think that they're gonna go up one day. And now, like I said, they're sitting at around $50 a piece, which is ridiculous. So there we go. Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. And these are all first edition near mint, by the way. All near mint. I've been buying all of these. You guys think I'm a little bit crazy right here, but yes, crazy, crazy. I'm actually a little bit insane. Yeah, call, call, call me, call me insanity, okay? I'm insane. There you go. What can I say? So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, a thousand dollars and fifty. For all of this is is what I think is what they're worth now. A thousand fifty. I bought these at around 25, 20 bucks each. Now this is the recent stuff that I just bought. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. So here we go. Shout out to Zach Williams, man. I got this from him off Facebook. And I'll tell you guys all the value on how much these cards are worth right now. For this is like a PSA 7, right? Yeah, when he showed me this is a PSA 7. So give or take, this is around 700 bucks. Which is insane, guys. Mint Cyber and Dragon. Don't have a mint copy. Till now and i actually bought more cyber and dragons it's insane so the reason why i think gx cards are insane is because they're so hard to come across like these booster boxes are so expensive these cards are going to go up in value these cards will become extinct eventually and these cards are absolutely beautiful another grand neils 300 bucks dark neils mint i don't even have this card so like 500 bucks for the dark neils so add that to the tab so 700 300 500 1500 i want your bubble man I don't know how much this is, but like, how much is Bubble Man? Like maybe 500 bucks for an ulti first? 500 bucks for the Bubble Man? I think maybe 400. Let's say 400. Add that to the tab. Captain Gold is like 30 bucks, not worth anything. I just added it. I just wanted to get this for the heroes and Cyber Dark Dragon. This is like a, a like a, this is like a, yeah, like a LP one. 200 bucks. Added to our tab, but nonetheless, these cards are absolutely gorgeous, man. Look how beautiful it is, especially Cyber and Dragon. This is insane, like super, truly iconic, guys. Super iconic. My hero collection is literally almost done. Like my my GX collection is almost done. And now, my favorite out of all. This is insane. Uriah. This card is like mint, super mint, super duper mint. It's like a thousand dollars right here. Ultimate Rare First Edition from Soy, Shadows of Infinity. Spectacular. Absolutely spectacular, man. Absolutely beautiful. $1,000 for the Uriah. Let's get near mint Uriah, by the way. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I graded my, my other two God cards. Rainbow Dragon. I don't even have one. This is my first ever Rain Rainbow Dragon reprint. Insane. Rainbow Dragon Misprint Mint. I don't even have one ever. Wow. The hall, look, look at the foiling on that. Mint condition. 
Wow! Gorgeous! A thousand dollars added to our tab, man. Rainbow Dragon misprint. Iconic for your misprint collection. If you guys don't have this. I can't believe, like, I didn't buy this a long time ago, man. This is crazy. Chaos Neo Rainbow Dragon misprint. It's truly, truly iconic, man. A thousand dollars added to our tab. Next, we got Raviel right here. Like, I think it's like a very, very light play, maybe. Oh no, this is mint. It's like a, maybe this is like a thousand as well. No, maybe like 700, 700 bucks. For the Raviel. $700 for this. Add it to our tab, super duper minty. I needed to get the Sacred Beast collection, man. This is absolutely beautiful. And Haman as well. This is a very light play, so it's like, I think like 500 bucks. Yeah, there's a little bit of wedding on there, but it's like 500 bucks added to our tab. But anyways, you guys won't be able to find this anymore, man. It's, it's ridiculous, man. These cards are just intense. Okay, these are the packs that I bought over the time. Invasion of Chaos, believe it or not, this blister pack, first edition, is like 500 USD. I know, I'm crazy, but I'm trying to open up. I'm trying to open up every single pack in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yes, so this needed to be in the collection for sure. Uh, Dual Rev, this is probably like 100 bucks. Add that to our tab. Um, Legacy of Darkness, I don't know how much this is, maybe like a hundred bucks as well, I, I don't know. For this, hundred dollars for a blister pack like this, add it to our tab. This right here is where I put all the packs that I bought over the years. Uh, Metal Raiders first edition, right here. Let me shout out the guy that I got it from. Shout outs to, of course, Epic Cards and Games, if you're watching this video. He was very funny, oh my God, when I met him and I got these packs, it's crazy. 500 USD for this pack which is ridiculous, like, it's crazy. Um, Shadows Infinity, I got, of course, Star Strike Blast, Magician's Force. Uh, this is like, let's say give or take, these are $50 a piece, or maybe 100 bucks, like 50 bucks, $100 added to our tab. This is $300 for MFC. This is crazy. First edition, Shadows is strictly sealed for this. He's the one that, that got hooked me up with this. Magic Ruler right here. Uh, don't know how much this one's worth, but it's, a, it's like, let's say 200 bucks for the, uh, the Match Ruler pack, 300, 200. This right here, I actually got for free from Game Nation. So shout out to you, Ray, if you're watching this video. But let's say this pack is worth like 100 bucks as well. Elemental Energy, Retro Pack number two. I don't know how much this pack is worth, man. Maybe like 500 bucks. Retro, maybe, like, I don't know. But guys, I don't know, I, I'm not sure. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, this was a gift to me from Daldi's. So maybe it's like, 200, 300 bucks, 300 maybe. Yeah, like around 300 bucks, it, it should be. Retro pack too. If I pull the blue eyes shiny dragon, that'll be insane. Add that to our tab. This is the most expensive pack in here. Shonen Jump anniversary pack. Shout out to Strictly Sealed. This is literally a thousand dollars for this pack. Literally everything is in here. Blue eyes, red eyes, dark magician, literally everything is in here for this one pack. A thousand dollars for this Shonen Jump pack, guys. Ridiculous, man, I know. Uh, Ferrani Guardian has got like a, a hundred bucks, which is crazy. Uh, this right here, World Championship 2011. I don't know how much this pack is worth, but it was a gift to me from Dolly's, and Dolly's got it from Bo Tang. So, Bo, if you're watching this video, I have your pack. Maybe this is like 500 bucks. I don't know. Maybe 200, 300. I, I don't know. Let's say 300 bucks, give or take, whatever. Uh, Absolute Power Force, 50 bucks. Tactical Evolution, maybe 50 bucks. Raging Battle, and also Ancient Prophecy, First Eds. Let's say 50 bucks per pack. I'm not sure. Gladiator Assault, 50 bucks. Striking Neo, 50 bucks. So, yeah. Val, I, I, I hope your math is good. I just said a lot of things. So hopefully you can calculate how much these packs are worth right here. $6,000 and one Cadillac. Now on to the big stuff, all right, guys? This is crazy. These are all the singles that I bought during the years. And you guys are gonna get shocked on what I bought, okay? So these are all the singles that I bought. They came in the mail, I gotta check the conditions, or these are the ones I, I bought locally, and I just kept in here. Boom, Wing Dragon Aurora Ghost Rare. $275. Here's my second one, here you go. 275 bucks added to our tab. Next, Rainbow Dragon. I think I got two. Yeah, two Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rares. They're both minty fresh, super duper mint. This is around $700 USD each. So $1,400 for both, which is ridiculous. So add those to our tab. You guys are gonna think I'm insane, man. I'm, honestly, as we go by, you guys will be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Black Rose Dragon, unlimited, ghost rare. Give or take, this is worth like $350 now, which is insane. 
And guys, look, this is like extended artwork, man. I feel like, look, like the vine, I don't know if it's normal, but you guys see the vines are like kind of like extended and the wings are extended. The roses right there are extended. Uh, right here is extended. I don't know if that's a misprint or not, but yeah, that's like 350 bucks. Next, we got Starter's Dragon, unlimited edition. I have the first edition, which is already graded. This unlimited edition is worth like 500 bucks, which is insane. Good for my Ghost Rare collection. Next, we got Power Tool Dragon, first edition. This right here is worth like 400 bucks. First edition Power Tool. Beautiful, guys. First edition Power Tool Dragon. Another Black Rose Dragon, $350. There's no extended wings on this one. Yeah, there's nothing extended about this. Like 350 bucks again. All the Sino Dragons. Shooting Star Dragon, mint condition. Around 300 bucks right here. Add it to our tab. And last but not least, we got first edition Black Rose Dragon right here. Around $700 USD, give or take, for this beautiful, uh, for this beauty right here. This is insane, guys. Add all of this to our tab. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look how beautiful these goals rare are, guys. I know I'm a little bit crazy, but hey, just trying to collect the best cards, you know what I mean? So there you go. Here we go, guys. Next one, Maxi. Maxi is insane, guys. Hey, Japanese players, if you want Maxi, let me know. Maxi right here. Ridiculous. Added this to my collection. How many do I have? Oh, yes, I actually got more. Yes, I got more. <laughs> there you go. Maxis. Five Maxis. $600 USD each right now, which is a little bit ridiculous. So, $3,000 for the set that I have right now. Crazy. Guys, my, my collection just got insane. This is crazy, man. Wow, I can't believe I bought, I bought these. But yes, $3,000 added to our tab. What else? Dark Arm Dragon. This is also insane. I think these are like $400 a piece right now. They're like $1,200 for the entire set. First edition, not first, no, Turbo Pack 6. Ultimate Rare Dark Arm Dragons. Absolutely beautiful, man. $1,200 for the set. Thunder King Riles. These are like $150 each. Right now, I can't believe they're that much. So $300 for the two. Uh, next, Super Polymerization. This is 100 bucks. I just bought this because I need it for my deck. <laughs> and next we got Power Bond. This is absolutely beautiful. Like a VLP Power Bond. There's a little bit of whitening on top. Uh, 250 bucks for this card. I don't have Power Bond first edition, so it's gonna have that. Future Fusion, first edition from Phantom of Darkness. This right here is around 50 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Next you got a mint condition Cyber End Dragon. This is 900 bucks. Mint, literally mint. Nothing wrong with this card. So I got two Cyber End Dragon that's like mint. Well, this is near mint, and the other one is like VLP, I guess, PSA 7 or or mint, mint. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. 900 bucks added to our tab right here, which is crazy. Cyber Twin Dragon, I actually got three Cyber Twins. Uh, they're around like $700 for the set, which is insane. And this is like mint, mint Cyber Twin Dragon, by the way, $700 USD for the set which is absolutely beautiful, guys. I love GX cards. GX is my favorite era to collect cards, if you guys were to ask me, man. It's like, it's my favorite era to collect cards from. Super fun, the cards look crazy. And this is my most prized cards right here that I just bought. Mint copies of Cyber and Dragons right here. These are a thousand USD each. Wow, and I'm actually happy that I bought these because Cyber Dragons is one of my favorite decks of all time, you know. You see, made me love this deck so much. Mint Cyber Dragons. A thousand USD each, English copies. Absolutely beautiful, man. So this right here, we got Cyber Dark Edge, Cyber Dark Cyber Laser Dragon. We got a bunch of Zane cards: Portal Cyber Dragon, Cyber Barrier Dragon, Cyber Esper, Cyber Horn, and Cyber Dark Heel. Like the the whole set is probably worth like four hundred bucks right here. Like I don't know, add four hundred bucks to the tab. Not too sure on the price can be worth less or worth more, but just giving an estimate on these mint first edition Ultimate Rares right here. Next. Power Bond, uh, Overload Fusion is like 100 bucks. Neo Space is like 30 bucks. 100, like 130 added to our tab. Uh, Overload Fusion, obviously really iconic for Zane to turn evil. And uh, Neo Space, absolutely beautiful. You're collecting Neos and hero stuff. This is like 25 bucks. Uh, next we got Lightning Storm. We got three copies of Lightning Storm right here. Uh, these are worth around like 1800 USD for the set. Or maybe 1600. 
Yeah, that, yeah, they're like around 600 each, right? So 1800 USD for the set. Shout out to Jesse Cotton for hooking me up with these. These are absolutely beautiful. So add $1,800 to our tab. Absolutely beautiful for lightning storms. It's gonna be my deck, by the way. Clayman again, 150 bucks. Okay, if you have the ulti, you gotta have the ultra, first edition from EEN. This is around 50 bucks. Not really worth too much, but hey, it's still, it's the ultra counterpart. Uh, next, we got Zeus. Don't have Zeus as a um, Starlight Rare yet, so around 400 bucks for this card. Absolutely amazing. Shout out to Jesse Cotton. Uh, du Double Dude is like 25 bucks. Not really worth anything, but if I'm collecting heroes, I gotta, I gotta catch them all, right? Uh, next, Ultimate Trinal. Trinal, Dinos, my favorite deck. Too bad this card is not worth anything. It's like around 25 bucks, but this card looks so good. So, so good. Um, Dasher. Dasher is worth all things, like 60 bucks for a minute one. Like, not bad, add 60 bucks to our tab, but like I said, gotta catch them all. Um, Rampart Blaster, this is a mint copy of Ultimate Rare. Rampart Blaster that I just got. This is around 500 USD, which is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful mint, like literally pack fresh mint. Rampart Blaster, which is insane. I'm collecting all the heroes. Oh, now here we go, Stratos. I think it's around $400 for the entire set, which is really good, but I think like this card should be worth more. Um, this is like the most iconic hero monster ever. So, Shadows definitely. I think it should. I think it. Should, it I think it will be the, the same status as Dark Law. I'm sorry that I bought out Dark Law, guys. I, I didn't know I was gonna make that much of an impact. I just wanted to have as many Dark Laws. Like I love Dark Law, but you know, Shadows is insane. Four hundred dollars for the set right now. Here we go. I don't know how much these cards are exactly worth, but I'm gonna say like eight fifty for the entire set. This Dark Law is insane, guys. I got. I bought more. I bought fifteen earlier, but now I have eighteen now. So Dark Law is insane. I'm gonna make a whole full 360 card binder of Dark Laws. Heart is absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Dark Law is so nice. So nice, man. 850 bucks for the set. Next off, first edition MMC Dark Magician Girl. I got this not too long ago. Absolutely beautiful, mint condition. It's a little bit OC from top to bottom, um, but this card is worth around 1500 USD for a mint copy which is absolutely beautiful. She's definitely a staple in my collection, hands down. She's she's Bay. She's the OG Bay man. She, she's she's sexy. Like my, my girl right here, my 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 real girlfriend. Okay? Now we got a Sky Sky Striker set. Okay, we got Kaina. Three Kainas. This is like $75 to the set. Add that to our tab. Next we got Hayate. Add 150 bucks to the tab. Add 150 bucks to the tab. Uh -huh. $50 a piece. I just wanted to get this so I can complete my striker a lot. Cause I feel like these in Ultimate Rare look absolutely beautiful, so I decided to get it. Next we got Shizuku. This is around $375 for the set of Shizuku. And then we got the set of Sky Striker Ace Kagari right here. $400 for the entire playset. So Striker Ultimate Rares are by far the most beautiful looking Ultimate Rares I've ever seen as like an entire collection. These cards are just absolutely beautiful. So I don't know how much the tab is right there, but whatever it is, it is there. So it's, it's a lot and it looks expensive. And the most expensive card that's in here right now, the first prize card that I actually ever bought, the first prize card that I actually ever bought, Minerva the Exalted Light Sworn. YCS, I can't afford an ultra rare one, but super rare is, is just fine. This costs around 4,200 USD. The most, yeah, this is gonna be my collection forever. I'm not getting rid of this. It's a prize card, you know, you, you, you like, yeah, Secret Rare is nice, whatever. Like, Ultra Rare reprints are nice, but this is where the real deal is at. This and the Ultra Rare prize card is where the money is at. $4,200 for this. Wow. There you go, guys. Let me know what your thoughts about this collection in the comment section below. Guys, remember, today is the last and final day for all the playmats on my website. So if you guys haven't got a playmat, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below. That'll be absolutely amazing. I'll give away a War Titan playmat to one lucky winner who is subscribed, likes the video, leave a comment in the comment section below on what your favorite card collection is of all time. Like, what is your one single card that you love the most? Leave me in the comments from below. I love to discuss in the comments on what your favorite card is to collect and why. And the winner will be announced later on in the video for you guys to win this War Titan Playmat. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's your boy Sam from Team Strand Sam signing out. And this is the video where I just bought a $40,000 box of Yuku cards. All right, guys. Peace.
sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.